Okay, what's up guys? Today we're back with another video here, and today in this video I will be going over the new Ark Lost Island video, but before this video starts, just to let you guys know, only 0.9% of you guys are actually subbed, so if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, please do like and subscribe, and let's get started. Okay guys, this is what we know so far. This is the new Ark Lost Island map, and basically I'm going to be going over everything new that's to it, and we got a couple of leaked pictures, and there's a leaked new dino, and this is supposed to come out by the end of this year, but Wildcard might delay it, so we don't know. Okay guys, this is another leaked photo. It looks kind of like it might be one of uh like the old maps like the island or rag because uh rocks and all that kind of remind me of ragnarok so this map might be pretty cool but there's three new tames uh there's the new map that's going to be free to everyone what i think it is is i think it's some kind of like redemption because everyone hates genesis 2 like all the pv play pvp players my bad Everyone, like, hates it, all the YouTubers and all that. They all hate it because it's only tech, pretty much. And you get tech so fast, and I only like the dinos from it. But, basically, I think this is some kind of, like, redemption to try to make up for having Genesis 2 so bad, so. Okay, guys, as you can see here, it says, Explore new heights and hidden depths. And this expansive 150 square kilometer map where survivors will encounter new biomes, challenges, and mysterious ruins. So I'm thinking there's going to be like temples or ruins you might be able to take over. That could be really cool. Pretty fun. Uh, depends on how the map's made. I mean, if it's built right, and it could be fun. But I think... This will be a big map. I don't know how big 150 square kilometer is. But anyways, it goes on to say, whether it's exploring the valley of waterfalls, setting up your treehouse home in the redwood forest, getting down and dirty in the vast swamps, diving deep underwater, climbing snowy mountains, or caving. There's something for every survivor out there. Arriving with the map with three will be three brand new real world creatures including the amagosaurus or amargosaurus and one chosen explicitly by explicitly i can't read that word by the art community so basically we get to pick one of the dinos which i think is pretty cool okay guys as you may know this is going to be the first map to have a contest to decide what the third creature is it's not going to be a fake dino, it's going to be a real life creature, and as you guys can see here what it says, this is the first map to have a contest to decide the third creature with players coming up with a real life creature and voting on it for a chance to appear on the map. The winner has yet to be decided. So basically, I think that's pretty cool that we get to vote on the new dino. I don't know if we get to decide like the abilities or what, but... I think it'd be pretty cool if we get to design the type of dino, like, we get to find one and vote on it, it's just, I don't know, it, I think it'd be cool if we, like, designed it ourselves, like, the abilities and stuff, but it's still pretty cool that we get to come up with the third creature. Okay guys, this is one of the new creatures called the Amargosaurus or something, and it's a sauropod, and... I think it's pretty cool. The spines are used as weapons. I think it's pretty cool that they added this. It's a real life dino, as you guys may know. And I think it's just pretty cool because it's never been seen, really. And it shoots the spines at people. Okay, guys, reading on to where it says domesticated. Once finally tamed, it's no surprise that the Amargosaurus's spines are the best feature. If removed early, their thermal storage becomes erratic which is perfect for catalyzing sap development in many trees. Some tribes, of course, adapt their thermal quirk for combat by having a margosaurus eject the spine before it sheds naturally. The freezing slash warming waves that em emanate from the spike play havoc with armor in the area. Interestingly, simple armor is barely affected while more complex armor is more heavily affected. So, basically, 
when you're fighting this thing, you're going to want to have to have simple armor and not like ascendant armor. Because this thing shreds ascendant armor and it shreds saddles and stuff. So this is actually going to be a pretty cool dino to defend against raiders. I think this one's going to be really cool. And reading on, it says, unlike most sauropods, Amargosaurus is, is very prone to violence, attacking most predators and humans on site. I suspect this behavior development alongside the dangerous spines it uses at weapons. So this thing's going to be aggressive. And if you like come near it, it's going to attack you. I think that's pretty cool, it's, but I think it's going to be a herbivore, or it might be a uh, omnivore, maybe, who knows. I mean, I think it's pretty cool, though, that the thing will attack you. I think the the spines and stuff are going to shoot out like a thorny dragon does. I think this new dino is going to be pretty cool. Moving on, here's where it says behavior. Barely anything is actually known about how this creature is going to behave, but the Dossier implies that it will attack wild creatures and players on site. So when it's wild, it's going to attack. Okay guys, here's another image of what the new arc map's going to look like. I think it's going to look pretty cool. It looks like it has geysers or something right there. And as you guys can see, there's a stego and what looks like to be a bronto and a volcano in the background. So maybe this will be kind of like Ragnarok. How the, like, volcano explodes, except for there's, like, what looks like two volcanoes. So, who knows, maybe there will be, like, some type of volcano biome or something, kind of like how they did on Genesis 1. But, hopefully it's better. Here's another look at the new map. It looks like this is gonna be a snow biome. It looks kind of like how Ragnarok did with the castle in the background, you know? And it looks pretty cool. It looks like there's some type of obelisk in the background. I'm going to guess that's Blue Ob because of snow. So I think there's it's most likely going to be sectioned off again like usual. How they do like Blue Ob in the snow, Red Ob in the redwoods, and Green Ob like in the plains or something. Who knows? Or it might be in that bamboo forest. There's uh, like, bamboo forest and, like, swamp and stuff. It's probably going to be in one of those, but it looks like there's some type of island in the background. That could be pretty cool. Okay, guys, this is going to be the end of this video here, so be sure to like and subscribe. I will see you guys later. I'll keep you guys updated and posted on what's new and what's going to come out. Once I find out that type of stuff, I'm going to upload a video on it. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned to all the videos I post. I post rattles and stuff so i'll see you guys later bye guys